y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be judging new makeup. I am so excited. It is early Sunday morning for me. I have all the new releases. I've been looking and I am ready to judge. We have some really exciting things to talk about. We have some really boring things to talk about. I'm going to give you my thoughts my opinions. I would love to hear what you think down in the comments. Just remember, we never judge each other. We will judge the makeup though. It's going to be a good time. I'm ready. Let's jump into it. All right, y'all, we have so much to talk about. Everything that I mentioned today, launch dates, if it's already available, if I have any information, everything is going to be in the description box. So definitely check there if you're curious about anything, you want some more details. I try to put as many links in the description box as possible and it's just jam-packed full along with the accounts and places where I find all my makeup news. So with that being said, I, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. So let's just start. Oh my gosh. We have to talk about my bestie collabed with Odin's Eye. I am so happy for her. This is Halloween from Odin's Eye and Angelica Neatvist. I have a video up with this full collection. I know, I know, I know how hard Angie worked on this collection and to see it like finally here, finally released, finally revealed. It's just so fun. The artwork on these palettes are freaking amazing. I can't pick a favorite, so don't even ask me. In fact, listen, if you know, if you follow me on Instagram, if you watch my video from last night, you know that like I haven't even unpacked my makeup bag from traveling yet. So we have my Adept Heather Austin in here. We have my Resurgence Unearthly collab, but you'll also see I packed <laughs> I packed the lippies from the Odin's Eye Angie collab. My lippies, I need to empty out my bag, clean it all up. But I really like these lip formulas, glosses, matte lips, really, really beautiful. So there's the Little Ghost palette and the Trick or Treat palette. Both so beautiful. One a little more like playful and fun with the blues and the purples. One a little more not muted, but just a little more like earth tones with the oranges, the reds, the greens. It makes me think of like the transition from summer to fall. So really super, super beautiful. There are um, glow lip glosses, matte lips, shine lips, or you can get the entire bundle. So this is available now. I know that affiliate codes don't work on this collection, but they do work on other items on the Odin's Eye site. I just have to say though, I know this is limited edition. I know Angie said that if it sells out quickly, they will try to restock, but typically with all creator collaborations, there's some type of limited edition, not because they don't want people to have it, but because you can't like hold a creator in a contract forever, you know? So uh, I believe, I believe that's still true. If it sells out quickly, they'll restock, but it is available now. I will link it down in the description box. The quality of the shadows is amazing. Like definitely go watch my video, go watch other people's videos. If you haven't seen this, watch Angie's video, tell her congratulations. It means so much just to hear congratulations, you know, like beautiful collection, good job. So nice. So I'm sure she would really appreciate that. If you haven't seen her video, definitely go watch it. Give it a thumbs up. Just know I love this collection. Even if Angie wasn't my friend, I would love this collect collection, but I always like to let y'all know, you know, like if I am friends with somebody, I want you to know. So I, I'm excited. I've enjoyed playing with this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I have it in my collection. If Odin's Eye and Angie didn't send it to me, I would have bought it 100%. It's absolutely beautiful. Unearthly Cosmetics had a pre-order that kind of accidentally went live for their Halloween Devour collection. It was going to be like 
coming now, but it accidentally <laughs> went live. So we now have the full reveal. The owner of an earthly Amanda did make a YouTube video revealing it all after it went live for pre-sale a few months ago, I believe it was. And I did order it at that time, but I wanted to go ahead and show you now. We do have like the full images and everything. So there is a pre-sale up. I wanted to talk about this. I did purchase this collection and yes, I used my own affiliate code. I used code Heather. If you're interested in this, you can use that code to save. I will have all of my codes in the description box. And as we talk today, if I have any codes, I will pop them on the screen and let you know, you know, I'll just let you know on the screen. The words will be there. I cannot wait to get my order in. It was a pre-order. I believe this is shipping. When is this shipping? I think in October. I can't remember off the top of my head. Let's see. The pre-sale limited edition Halloween set, the Devour Collection. It says it embraces the mysterious, unconventional beauty and carnivorous nature of the Venus fly trap. I love this theme. I think it is so fun. So it's an eight piece set. It has a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. Looking at the palette, it looks pretty. My eyes, of course, immediately go to that bottom row with the kind of teal green shades. And then that top row looks so beautiful with the purples and reds. We have, let's see, Cheek Devour Blush Highlighter Duo. I need that magenta blush so much like that is going to be a beautiful blush topper for me and that highlight i think looks beautiful and then there is a new item from unearthly that i cannot wait to try this is the lip oil lip oil and satin liquid lipsticks which is already a favorite of mine and then there are two lip glosses so i cannot wait to try this um yeah, pre-sale is available while supplies last. So I cannot wait. Does it say this is a limited edition? I don't see that on there. It is. No, sorry. Limited edition. I see that now. I cannot wait to get my order in. What more can I say? I mean, I already purchased it. I cannot wait to try it. Unearthly is a favorite brand for me, if you didn't know. I did a collaboration with them, the Resurgence Collection. It's always linked in my description box. But this looks like it has some deep tones. It has some really light shades. But my eyes are going to those deep shades. And I'm like, yes, I need. Okay, Kim Chi Chic Beauty has launched four new nine pans. And I could not be less interested I don't know why I see releases from Kim Chi Chic Beauty and I always want to try the brand. I'm like, you know, next release, next release. But there's there, there just hasn't been anything that really pulls me in that really makes me go, okay, I'm going online and I'm going to order this. There's just something, I don't know. And looking at these palettes, let's see. Okay, these are the Jewel Collection. Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, and Sapphire. <sighs> okay. It says there are mattes, glitter shadows. I don't know. I mean, they're only $15. I don't think that's a bad price point. <sighs> it's just something like there's not enough. There's just not enough for me in these. I don't think they're bad. Listen. If you love them, I love them for you. The world would be boring if we all liked the same things, right? Right, right, to me it would. Like, I don't wanna leave my house and everybody look like me. Like, we can like what we wanna like. The diamond palette, okay. I think what I'm getting stuck on is the theming because BH Cosmetics, several years ago, did a birthstone series where every month they released a palette. And I thought their diamond palette was so good. They somehow managed to give a variation with like light tones and deep tones. And I feel like this diamond palette just looks very blah. I'm not into it. The sapphire palette, I don't know. Like, I don't know. 
I guess what these palettes make me think of is if you gave a child a box of crayons and you're like, pull out all the blue shades, this is what they would bring. You know, like there's no, there's nothing more to it, especially with the green and the red too. They just fall a little flat for me. So not, not for me, but if they're for you, amazing, wonderful. Okay, we have a sneak peek from Adapt and I have to say, I really like that brands are kind of giving us sneak peeks way ahead of time. I see comments on both sides. Some people saying like, it's too much, it's too much. And other people saying, thank you for letting me know so that I can save my money. This palette, from what I understand, is not coming out until 2024. I may be incorrect about that, but I know that it's not coming out like super soon. So I kind of like that we have this sneak peek. Obviously, I love Adept Cosmetics. I have a collaboration with them. Like, love, love, love. So I definitely need to get my hands on this Element 15 palette. I like this, like, silver sci-fi space extraterrestrial type of thing. I think this is fun. Uh, I just, I'm excited. I see like blue, silver, and green. Say less, say less. You know, there are some brands, maybe you have brands like this where it's like everything they put out, you're at least interested in. Maybe you don't buy everything, but you're at least like, okay, tell me more because you love the quality of their products. I'm like that with Adept. I'm like that with Natasha Denona, you know, Unearthly, Blend Bunny, different brands. I'm like, tell me more. <laughs> so I am excited. I think this concept looks cool. I think it looks very fun. I will definitely like be talking about it in the future. Like I said, I don't think it's launching for a while. So when we know more, we'll definitely talk about it. But I wanted to share this sneak peek. We don't always talk about sneak peeks, but I definitely think they can be fun. And I wanted to let you know that they are restocking the Sumerian Sunset Palette on Friday, September 29th at 10 a.m. Central Time. And it says this is going to be a small restock, but there's going to be a larger restock coming at the beginning of next year. So just FYI, this is an absolutely beautiful palette. I do have a video on it if you want to check it out. Okay, the hair like care accessory brand Kitsch collabed with Wednesday. I think this is adorable. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I bought a couple of pieces from this collection because I just think this is really cute. I bought a couple of pieces when they collabed with Barbie and I've really enjoyed them. So we have several different things here. I bought the Nevermore scrunchie set. I think that's so cute. I love using scrunchies like for sleeping, different things. So I bought that. There is a checkered claw clips two piece set. I bought that. Uh, the hair bow tie two piece set. I did not purchase that, but I think they're cute. I just know I wouldn't get any wear out of those, but they do look adorable. There are goth snap clips. I bought those, so cute. They have like little, little like, um, charms on them that I think are adorable. And then there is a goth veil headband. I did not purchase that, but the whole bundle is available or you can buy the items individually like I did. I thought this was cute. I think it's fun. I also like that everything in the collection doesn't say like Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. I like that they went with like the Wednesday aesthetic without just like plastering photos of Wednesday on everything. I'm definitely going to get used out of this. I think it's super duper cute. I'm excited. My order is is here. Speaking of Wednesday, we have a collaboration with Wednesday and Hard Candy. So this was spotted in some local Walmarts. I cannot purchase it online yet, but I did see it. So let's look. We have like an all gray eyeshadow palette and then we have a gray toned palette with two pops of purple. I think that's really smart. I think the other palettes, the ones that are more colorful, I can definitely see like the inspiration in the other characters on the show. If you've seen the show, you know, you know, you know. I think this looks super duper cute. Let's see. So there's eye palettes, uh, a makeup puff, liquid eyeliners, and lip liner. Super duper adorable. Maybe you'll see this in your local Walmart. I think it looks cute. I don't know if I'll be picking it up to try it out, but I really want to see it in person. More at the drugstore, Scooby-Doo and Wet n Wild. Now listen, I showed y'all 
the bag that I packed, <laughs> my Glam Light makeup bag is what I took with me. So I don't think I need anything from this collection. I did purchase the full Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection. So I think I may pass on this, but if you were like wanting something Scooby-Doo at a drugstore price point, I think this is, this is looking interesting. There's an eyeshadow palette, a glitter palette and brush set, nail polish, makeup bag. Uh, the makeup bag glows in the dark. Uh, brush set glows in the dark. There's cream blush, lip crayons, matte, like when Wet n Wild does a collection, they do a collection. They give so many products. So sometimes I think that can be a little overwhelming, but I also think it's really nice because it gives variety. You know, maybe you don't want the palette, maybe you don't want any of that, but you want something Scooby-Doo, you get the nail polishes. You know, you have variety here. I have not seen this in stores. I, I think it's cute. I think the mystery machine makeup bag is cute, but I have my collection. I'm happy with it. So I don't feel the need to purchase this one. Let's talk about ColourPop. I was shaken to my core when I came home from vacation and ColourPop had sent me the 1111 collection. So let me know, do you want to see a video on this? I'm like, of course I'm out of town. <laughs> They sent me this collection. I couldn't get a video up before launch for y'all, of course, because I was not here. So definitely let me know, do you want me to use this? I think this looks really beautiful. Is it revolutionary? No, but it's a beautiful neutral collection. I'm actually most drawn to the blushes. Actually, I don't know if I got the lip products sent to me. Now that I say that, I know for sure the palette and the eye crayons and the blushes. So I, I'm looking forward to playing with those. The palette reminds me a lot of the latest Natasha Denona palette. I definitely see like some color similarities. I know ColourPop and Natasha Denona have vastly different formulas though. So I definitely don't think it's gonna be like a dupe. Um, so we'll see. I definitely want to try this. Just let me know. Do you want me to film with it with y'all? I think this looks very cute very cute, very, very beautiful. And it is available now, so I will link it down below. Okay, Blend Bunny has revealed their Sickly Sweet collection. This is launching on the 29th. I know Blend Bunny is sending me this palette. If they were not sending it to me, I would purchase it because I love Blend Bunny. Anything they put out, I want to buy. And this looks so chaotic and fun. And my little chaos loving heart is like, dee, 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 dee. that's so fun. So this is the palette. And there's also gonna be two cotton candy scented lip oils. I love the Blend Bunny lip oils. Love, 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 love. I believe Blend Bunny is gonna send me one of the lip oils, whichever one I don't get, I'll be purchasing because I love their lip oils, like love them. So let's talk about this palette though. I love the chaos so much. Uh, Blend Bunny says that they have been asked for a fully pastel palette consistently and persistently. So I think that's fun. I think when looking at a brand overall, I really like when I see brands like filling in maybe gaps in their collection. Not that Bloom Bunny had a gap, but I do think looking at all their palettes, I could say like, yes, they could do a pastel palette and it would fit in well with their line. It would maybe help like round things out. So I think this is a very smart release for the brand. I'm looking at it and I see some very muted, desaturated pastels. I'm looking at this photo, I'm seeing some more punchy pastels. I also so much appreciate that in this pastel palette, we still have some deep dark shades. I love adding depth to a look. I don't think it's necessary for every look, of course, but my personal preference, nine times out of 10, I wanna add some depth to a look. So I really like that. And I'll also say, usually in Blend Bunny's palettes and photos, dark shades will look similar to one another, but once you get them on the eyes, they're different. They have different undertones. They, they serve a different purpose. So I'm really looking forward to getting this in my hands as soon as I have it. 
I will create and I will make a video for y'all because I need to play with this. I am looking at this photo. I'm very attracted to that bright pink shade. I'm very attracted really like my eyes just kind of bounce around and it makes me feel inspired. It makes me feel creative. I'm also seeing that we have some neutral tones in this palette, which I think just makes it more and more versatile. So Blend Bunny, count me in. Guerlain has revealed a new fragrance and I want it. Okay, I want it. I'm not gonna purchase it right now unless I can get like a sample size first because I don't really wanna be out here spending $380 on a fragrance I haven't tested. Have I done Wild Things before? Yes, but not this. I'm not gonna buy it smell and smelt, you know, for $380. But, but listen, you had me at tobacco and honey. Stop. Like, you had me there. You, you don't need to say anymore. But they did, okay? And I want it. It says it's Amber Woody Interpretation of Tobacco. And it has uh, vanilla, tonka bean, and the honey, the honey, the honey, the honey, the honey. I want it. I just want it. What can I say? Tobacco, honey, I need. I'm also intrigued by these Kaoli fragrances. So this is the Odegasm collection for fragrances. So there is vanilla with top notes of pear, praline, saffron, then Bulgarian rose, then vanilla sugar. And then we have the rose fragrance. This one, probably not as interested in. This one is pear, lemon, geranium. All that sounds good. Then it's rose, peony, vanilla, Madagascar, wood, and oud. I don't know that I would love that. Next we have tobacco. I'm interested in this one. Mandarin, sage, plum, white honey, geranium. Then clove, then saffron, then tobacco, patchouli, vanilla, praline. Say less. I'm gonna buy that one for sure. Then we have Cafe, Bergamot, Mandarin, Cappuccino, Geranium, Rose, Vanilla, Patchouli, like I would like to smell that one. Then we have like an intense like room freshen thing, but this is coming on October 1st, so I will link it down below. And I will probably pick up the 10 ml bottle for just $38. I wanna smell this, I wanna try it. I love that Huda. And, well, sorry, not Huda, Kaoli, the sister brand of Huda Beauty. I love that they launch the smaller sizes so that we can, you know, not spend an arm and a leg. We can buy it, we can smell it, we can see how we like it. BK Beauty has launched another collaboration with Angie Hot and Flashy. I really love BK Beauty brushes. I really love the first collab they did with Angie Hot and Flashy. These are available now. I will link them down below. This is a travel brush set and pouch. So there is a contoured foundation brush, concealer brush, angled blush brush, lid shader, and crease shader. And then you also get a travel pouch. So huge congratulations to BK Beauty and Angie. I know this is such a big deal. These look so beautiful. Fantasy Cosmetica has revealed their new palette launching on the 27th. This is the Warlock Collection. This color story, I'm into it. We see greens. It looks like we have a deep blue in there. It looks like we have some beautiful special shades. This palette is going to be available. And then they're also going to launch singles. So if you don't want the whole palette, you just want single shadows. Those will be available. I think that's really, really cool. The palette is magnetic. Shadows are removable. And they're also launching lip oils. I'm very excited about the lip oils because this is kind of a new category for Fantasy Cosmetica. There are going to be some fun shades. They did say they were going to send me this palette. So when I have it, I will definitely play with it. I want to use these lip oils. It says they have a very slight pump plumping effect. And I'm nervous about that because I'm very picky. And I feel like I'm sensitive. I don't like to tingle too much. It hurts. So I'll definitely let y'all know how that is. I definitely want to try them though because I expect quality products from Fantasy Cosmetica. So my hopes are high for these lip oils. There's also going to be a fragrance. And this says it is inspired by dark desires and summoning rituals. Warlock perfume, dark rose with herbal notes, seductive sweetness. So I'm definitely interested in smelling that. I know they're going to send me that fragrance as well. I think that palette is super 
super pretty. And I also wanted to let you know that they are launching a, another perfume. This one is um, the Bard Scent. It is honeysuckle and it has sweet, fruity, spicy scents. I love honeysuckle. Listen, I'm a Mississippi girl. I love honeysuckle. So I think I'm going to have to buy that Bard Scent. I really want to smell it. I'm intrigued. Glam Light has showed us some of the products launching in their Ghost Space collaboration. Let's talk about it. This is maybe what I expected from Glam Light. A red lip, a ghost face mirror, and then we have a palette that has the motion on it, like the Chucky collab. This is a cool toned palette. Looking at the swatches, I think there are some special shades in this palette. It looks like there's like this silvery shade, which, what is this one called? Maybe the sharpest knife looks really special. Mirror gleam looks really special. It looks like there's some like matte with sparkle shades. I'm interested to see this in person, play with it. Glam Light always makes really high quality products, but I'll also say, they sold me on the packaging. I love the movie Scream so much. It's like a comfort movie for me. So I, like, no matter what, I would buy this. I love the embossing on the pan, Ghost Face Lives. I think they did so well with that part of the collab. And then the red lip duo, it definitely makes sense. This is Ghost Blood. It is uh, $15 for the lip kit. I'm actually wearing a Glam Light lip liner today from the Chucky collection. So I'm really really like Glam Light products. I'll definitely be picking this one up if they don't send it to me because I need this collab in my life. I just, it's ghost face and I know the quality will be there, so I need it. Lily Lashes has two new styles of half lashes. If you watched my video from last night, you saw me use these. I am wearing the frisky pair again today. Very comfortable, very beautiful. I have bought so many lily lashes it's it, it's a lot but they're my like they make such good lashes so i love seeing them do more half lashes they did send me these two pair but the amount of mykonos and mykonos light i bought from lily lashes it's a lot morphe has a new collection coming out this is the artistry unwrapped holiday collection not interested in this I tried Morphe recently. I think the quality was fine. Not enough to make me be like, ooh, whatever they release, I want. So, not interested. There's gonna be a 35 pan shadow palette, two nine pan palettes, a brush set, lip duos. I don't need this, but I will link it down below because maybe you're seeing it and like, you know what? I love it, I need it. And guess what? I love it for you. We have a new brand coming. This is Sinful Echoes. This palette is Echoes in the Darkness. I'm intrigued. I don't know anything other than this, but I saw this on Instagram and I'm like, huh, I'm gonna watch out for this. It says that they're gonna reveal the palette as soon as possible. It says they're working behind the scenes and this is a new up and coming brand I wanted to share with you in case you're intrigued. Nabla has also given us a sneak peek. It says coming soon and uh, we don't know. I'm guessing this is powder. I like this packaging. I like the snake with the stars, transformation. I'm thinking maybe this is a powder. Maybe it's a primer. Do you have a guess at the time that I'm filming? I don't know. So I'd love to hear what you think. Salem Cosmetics has revealed their grunge life palette. So I have one palette from Salem Cosmetics. It was their collaboration they did with Smink. So I really enjoyed it. I'm intrigued by this one. It's going to be $40 and the pre-order opens on the 25th. So this definitely looks like a grungy color story, mustard yellows, olive greens, some deeper shades. It looks like there's some pretty shimmers. I don't know much more apart from this, but the photos look really pretty. I'm into the artwork too. Like. This person on the cover looks so cool. So let me know because 
I want to know, are you excited about this? I saw a lot of people in the comments on the brand's Instagram being super excited. So I would love to hear what you think. We have a new product from Wicked Widow Beauty. This is a collab with the Instagram Goth Adjacent. So this is three matte liquid lipsticks. So it's a sage green with gray undertones, a deep teal that's in a muted shade and a rich plum with warm undertones. So this is going to be available on pre-order on the 29th and I actually have these. Wicked Widow sent me these. I'm very excited to play with them. I want to try these on. I've never tried Wicked Widow's a lip formula so this will be a new like product from them for me to try. I think this looks really cool. Wicked Widow liquid lipstick. So yeah that's going to be available for pre-order. ABH we saw a sneak peek for their highlighter a couple of weeks ago and now we see that this highlighter is called the glow seeker highlighter in the shade sun idol they're also going to launch a mini modern renaissance and a mini sultry palette i have modern renaissance and sultry i don't think i need these i think i'm good on that front the mini modern renaissance looks like it all matte shades so if you love matte shades maybe that could be for you this is going to be coming in october so we can definitely talk about it when we know more mac cosmetics holiday this is launching on october 1st i believe this no fifth i'm sorry this looks really pretty but i have a highlighter from mac with that exact same embossing that launched years ago back when MAC Cosmetics like would sell out of collections. So while this is pretty, I don't feel like it's anything new for the brand. The palettes look cute, not something I personally need. I bought from MAC when they did their Black Panther collection and their Stranger Things collection. I thought those were really, really fun. I liked the quality. I thought those were good palettes. Not enough to make me just buy anything they put out though. So. I'm going to anti-haul this one. Sephora Collection has put out some new things. This palette, the packaging is far more interesting than the inside. I'm like, you have like holographic cool sun rays on the outside. And then the inside is, I, I don't know, like 1999 called and was like, do you want some dusty shadows? And Sephora was like, yeah, sure. Listen, I get it. I get who this is for. If you're like, Heather, how dare you? I love this. This is what everybody else in the world wears except for you. Listen, I've seen your comments before. I already know. You like, you like beige shadows. I get it. Okay, I get it. This is just me sharing my opinion. You know, you can, you can love it all you want. More for you. Okay, listen, it's not going to sell out because of me. More for you. More for you. I just don't want this. To me, this is not interesting neutrals. I love neutrals. Listen, I love neutrals. To me, this is not interesting in any way though, so it's a pass. We have a sneak peek from Patrick Ta, little eye toppers. They look pretty. I don't think I'm gonna be purchasing these. I have products like this from indie brands that I love. I don't know that I need an eye topper from Patrick Ta. Maybe my mind will change as time moves on. We see more photos, things like that. They definitely look pretty but I don't think it's a need. Last but not least, Lethal Cosmetics is revealing their two up, a sequel, sister, whatever, to their one up collection. So there is a palette with 10 new shades. Looks like we have some duochromes in there. And then there are water activated magnetic liners. Okay probably not interested in that. I don't love water activated liners. I have some, I don't ever use them, you know. There's going to be a activator drops, stickers, face gems. I don't need it. I don't need it. Looks fun. I like the palette the most, although there is some empty space that kind of bugs me. All right, y'all, that is all we have to talk about today. I will put in the description box what is on my face, but I'm wearing my Glam White 
Chucky Tiffany liner with my Sigma Rosewood New Cream Liquid Lipstick. Really loving that formula. Uh, of course, I'm wearing my Lily Lashes. I'm wearing my Glam Light Strawberry Shortcake Blush. I'm wearing my Cosmic Bra... <laughs> Talking too much. Cosmic Brushes Frosting Highlighter Trio. I'm wearing kind of a mix of shades. And then on my eyes is recently de-influenced by Bella Beauté Bar. I did post a video with this palette week before last, I believe. Loving, loving this. Wanted to play with it again this morning. I hope whatever you're doing, you're having an amazing day. Please do subscribe. I have so many videos coming tomorrow. I have one video that I think is very exciting. Hopefully y'all will be excited about it. Maybe, maybe, you know, something that is restocking tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe you want to subscribe. Either way, thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day and I will see you tomorrow in a new video. Bye.